Hey, how's it going? It's Joe. Uh, this is a uh, demonstration slash tutorial of the new voltage bank bespoke unit. Um, so this unit is, um, I don't know, you can think of it um, as, a, I guess, a bank of voltages. It's basically an array of um, sample and holds. Um, I guess you could think of it as a lookup table. Um, so we'll just do a demo. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, demonstration uh, involving pitch, uh, not because I think that's the most fun thing that you could do with this unit, but I, I think it uh, will probably be the most clear. So um, here on this patch, I just have a sine oscillator set up and ready to go, uh, just uh, oscillating at uh, 130.8 hertz. Uh, I'm going to come into the volt per octave, and I'm going to insert the voltage bank unit. Um, so first thing to take a look at here, let's go into the uh, header menu and there's three different modes for the output. So um, the default mode is index mode, which it's going to put out whatever the value is stored in the current index. Um, there's also um, input mode and sum mode. We'll come back to sum mode at the end, but for now I'm just going to switch it to input mode. And I'm going to feed something into it, and in this case I'm going to feed um, my keyboard signal, um, A1. Um, so you can see here we're, we're on index one. Uh, I'm feeding some voltage into it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fire this trigger to grab that voltage. And we're just hearing the, uh, the input A1 pass through right now. And that kind of makes it easy, I think, to, uh, you know, set your, uh, set your voltages up. So let's move on to index two. And uh, we'll change the input signal here that trigger to grab that. And we'll just fill this up. Last one here. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's switch the mode in the header menu now to back to index. So you can kind of hear that uh, as I scroll through this, it's going to cycle through uh, the different indexes and put out the value that I stored there. So. automate this a bit. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to reset the level on the built-in VCA in this sine oscillator. And we'll turn the gain up to 1. And um, I've already got um, a clock set up here on one of my global channels. So let's grab that. And Put an ADSR in there to make it sound a little nicer. And let's come back in here into the voltage bank and let's modulate this index. Um, so the gain, uh, the index goes from 1 to 8 and the gain goes from 1 to 8. So that should make it pretty easy to modulate with anything. Um, we're going to go ahead and insert um, a built-in counter unit. And we'll leave the start at 0. And we'll set the finish to 7. And let's put that same global clock into here. And just one last feature I wanted to show you on the voltage bank, and we talked about this before back in the header menu. We've got a mode called sum. So what this does is it's going to sum whatever value is stored in the current index uh, with whatever's coming into the voltage, uh, whatever voltage is coming into the unit. So what I'm doing now is uh, playing the same keyboard. So 
so we built kind of a, like a little freezer kind of unit out of it. Um, anyway, I, like I said, the uh, pitch demonstration I think makes it probably clearest what's going on with the voltage bank, um, but um, I imagine you guys are going to come up with some pretty cool uses for this, so I'll be uh, excited to see what you come up with. Uh, that's it. Thanks. Take care.